In this very quick tutorial, I'm gonna be explaining how to set up and send emails from monday.com. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out my website below, we would be delighted to help. Otherwise, let's get straight into the video. In this quick video, as I just said, I'm gonna be explaining how to set up and then send emails directly from your monday.com system. Now, this is a really, really helpful tool. It means you don't have to go to Gmail and Outlook and copy and paste the emails of your clients or contacts who you wanna communicate with. You can do everything from monday.com. Also, you can track whether your emails have been open, sent, or whether they have bounced, and you can also automate emails as well. So you can send emails based on the status of a particular item or a, a number of different things, in all fairness, a, a date, it could be absolutely anything. So as you can see, I'm in my example workspace and I'm on my contacts. Now, what I want you to do is find a contact that you would like to send an email to. So in this instance, I'm gonna send an email to my friend Lorenzo here. Just go ahead and hover over their name and then press the open item page button. Press the open button and you'll be presented with this screen here. Now what you wanna do is go to the plus button on the far right hand side that says add view. Go, go ahead and do that and just add the emails and activities item to that particular page. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the emails and activities. Now we are on the setup page. The likelihood is you'll be presented with this screen here. What we wanna do is just go to the cog on the far right hand side that will take us to the email settings. Firstly, we need to connect our email to monday.com. In order to do that, go to manage connected accounts and you, as you can see, I've already connected my email. But if you have either Gmail or Outlook, go ahead and select the one that you use and it will take you to a pop-up screen where you have to sign in and just confirm that you're happy to share data with monday.com. I'm sure you guys have done that a thousand times. Now I've got really bad news for you. <laughs> if you do not have Gmail or Outlook, you cannot use this. Okay, so sorry to disappoint, it's out of my hands, but you need, <laughs> you need Microsoft or Google uh, Gmail, whether that be Google Workplace, or just the free version in order to connect to monday.com. So go ahead and follow those instructions and then you will have your email account connected to monday.com. So we've completed the first step. That's really, really simple. Now I'm gonna go through a few different options that we've got here and then I'll explain how to send an email. Secondly, we've got log outgoing emails from your Gmail slash Outlook inbox. So this is really, really interesting feature. It gives us a few different options here. We can option one, automatically log all outgoing emails from Gmail slash Outlook into the emails and activities timeline. Now it will automatically associate any email address with that contact, but I would strongly recommend not to do this. What you wanna be doing is only adding emails that are actually relevant or useful into monday.com. There's no point in polluting the system with nonsense. So in order to do that, you wanna select the only log outgoing emails into emails and activities that are BCC to the address below. Now, this may seem a little bit confusing. It's actually quite a good feature in all fairness. Let's say I am sending an email to my friend Harry, okay? So the, the from isn't myself, obviously Nick, and the to is Harry. Now, I want this particular email to actually go into monday.com um, and I want it to be linked with his contact information. I want it to come up on the email activities and timelines area. What I need to do is just copy and paste this, this link into the BCC, so blind copy, and then just send the email. And then it will automatically associate that email address with that contact and then add it to the emails and activities timeline. So that's a really, really useful feature to only log specific emails that you want in the system. Now you also have an additional option where you can create a new contact if the recipient email address does not exist in monday.com already. So if you send the email with a BCC and the email doesn't exist, then it will create a new contact. Now, in my experience, this becomes a bit of a nightmare. Um, because you then end up creating contacts with loads of missing data. So it depends what you're doing, but nine times out of 10, I would recommend not using this particular feature. Okay, so just copy that BCC and then you go ahead, send emails and it will automatically connect. Now the next option is automations and notifications. Now you can automate emails being sent on literally any variable inside of monday.com and that is a video in of itself. And I am gonna be doing an automations video inside of monday.com. Um, but if you are familiar with 
um, automations, then now you've connected your email, you can automate an email to be sent when let's say a status changes for a particular item or when a date is due or when a date goes overdue, it could be a number of different things. So you've got that and you've also got notifications as well. So let's say you automate a notification when an email has been received or when an email has been sent or when an email has been opened, for example. So you've got those options there. We've also got default sharing. So who can see my email messages and activities? So that you've got a choice between two, everyone inside of the monday.com system or just yourself. Now I would have this as everyone. And then obviously this goes back to only log out going emails that have got the BCC email address. If you do decide to automatically log all outgoing emails, the chances are you're not gonna want everyone to be able to see your emails which is totally understandable. So you would just have it as just me. But because we're doing the BCC, I want everyone to be able to see the emails that I select to go into monday.com. Okay, so then it's useful for everyone else on the team to see what's going on with that particular contact. It's very, very helpful. Now, moving on from there, we've got email signature. So we can create an email signature if we would like to. We can create a simple one or we can add a HTML signature. Um, it's entirely up to you. I've not got a signature to add. We've also got email branding, so you can select whether to remove monday.com branding from your emails or not. Just tick it or untick it. I, I mean, mo I think everyone's going to want to do this. And then finally, you've got never log. So email sent or received from the addresses defined below will never be saved to your CRM, even if they exist as contacts in your boards. Again, this is going to be more applicable if you're logging all of the emails as opposed to doing the BCC tool. Um, so this means that you enter in an email address and no matter what, that email will never ever enter in the monday.com system. So you might wanna set that up if you do choose to use the automatic log and then you've just got some private emails. But that, I mean, this could become a really, really long list of emails that you never wanna go into monday.com. So it's up to you how you want to manage everything. So once we've got the system set up or the email set up out the way, now we can go ahead and create a new email. So it's very, very simple. You've got the new email button up the top left hand corner here. It's automatically selected Lorenzo because that is the person um, or the contact that we selected on and that's his email address there. You're able to select which email you're sending from if you've got multiple email accounts connected to monday.com. So you just use a drop down menu and um, you can do CC. You don't need to do the BCC as you are obviously sending this email from monday.com and then just write a subject. So hi Lorenzo, um, or let's say follow up. And then obviously we just go, hi Lorenzo, Enzo, uh, just following up to see if you're interested in having discussion about whether this service would be of interest to you. Very, very simple. And then just thanks, Nick. it's an email. I'm sure you're all very, very familiar with what, uh, what emails can do. <laughs> We've also got some additional options down the bottom. We can attach files and documents. We can add a list, bold, underline, italic, and we've got some font options here as well. We can also add a link, and I'm sure you're all very, very used to all of these different features. The email tracking, so this is where you can choose to see whether the email was opened, how many times. You can turn this on and off if you'd like to. This is, this is where this gets really, really useful, um, and where you can, again, you can automate monday.com to send notifications when someone has opened an email or 10 days after they've opened an email, for example. So we've also got columns, so we can add auto populate fields. So we can just pull a column from the actual item onto our email automatically. So hi, and then we would do item name. So that would be hi Lorenzo Harvey. And then you could add additional information dependent on what columns you have and what's been saved and what you wanna include in that particular email. So that is very, very useful, especially if you then create a template with it because then you can just quickly use the template and just send the email, which I'll show you how to do now. So you then got the templates option. You can save this email as a new template or you can select from an existing template um, and then just obviously when you go to send the next follow up email, for example, you don't have to write it all out. You can just select that particular template and with the columns, it will auto populate the information to say, hi, Nick, hi, Harry, hi, Lorenzo, hi, David, whatever the case may be. So once you're happy, then you can go ahead and just press the send button, send that email. You can see the status. You can see what the email was. Um, you've got a few different options. We've got the reply button. And we've also got a three dotted button where we can reply or reply and full screen.
So that is the emails, how to use emails inside of monday.com, how to send emails, how to manage them as well. Now in the emails and activities area, we can also add additional activities like a meeting, a call summary, a note, you can add custom activities. Um, and this is just gonna allow you to record certain information or engagements that you've had with that particular contact. But the emails is a really, really good feature and what the focus of this particular video. Now we've also got filter by anything. So we can filter by emails or internal notes or activity type, the year, the month, and we can show only related to particular activities and things like that. And then this is the automation workflows. And I'm not gonna go, like I said, I'm not going into too much detail in this video, but you can automate to your heart's content and um, email stuff as well. So hopefully this video has been valuable. You're familiar with how to set up your email and then how to send emails directly from monday.com and create the email templates to save yourself a lot of time as well. And I will see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to begin sending emails, managing emails. You can see the open rate and the bounce rate of your emails and also automating emails directly from monday.com. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider subscribing and give the video a like as well. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.